Hey, I'm the 13th Wolfman, and I went out today. I went out to see uh, the movie The Guardians of the Galaxy, another Marvel film. Marvel is racking up the the serious points with these films. Um, when it comes down to it, this movie really fits into the Marvel universe. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the comics that I really don't have a lot. I mean, I don't really remember them. I mean, my brother, my brother and I, I've said this before, growing up, my brother and I, uh, I was the DC comic book follower, and he was the Marvel comic book follower. But when he would get stuff in like Captain America and Iron Man and Thor and Daredevil, I would read them, you know? I mean, we would we would share across, you know, the lines like that, but I would read them. I don't remember Guardians of the Galaxy really being in the the house. So it was like one of the movies where I'm like, okay, it's a comic book movie, but it's a comic book I I have very little knowledge of. So I actually got to go into this movie, unlike Captain America, where I was a big Captain America fan, or Iron Man, where I'm like, okay, I, have, I already know the story of Tony Stark. I already know the story of Steve Rogers. Uh, let's see how they do compared to what I have in my my memory banks, you know. I didn't have that problem with this one. I don't know if this compares well to the <clears throat> to the to the source material. So I go in there, I kick back. Um, the theater I was seeing it at was giving away free pins all weekend. So if you go there and if you go to an AMC theater <clears throat> Sorry about that. If you go to an AMC theater this weekend and and you buy a ticket, for every ticket you buy, you're supposed to get a free a free pin. And they're supposed to be mixed up, you know. I got uh, a Star Lord, which was Chris Pat Chris Pratt's character. And when I saw the pin, like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of knowledge. I'm like, oh man, this, this sucks. I I wanted a Zoe Saldana pin. Yeah, I want a Gamora pin. I got a. I got a thing for Zoe Saldana. Yeah, I know she's married, and there's no way I ever meet her. But hey, she's still hot. Well, when the movie got over, I was more than happy to have a Star Lord pin. I I just loved the movie. The movie starts in the 1980s with uh, Peter Quill, A.K.A. Star Lord. He's a, he's a human on Earth, and his mother dies, and when his mother dies in the hospital, he runs out, and he ends up in this field, and he gets abducted by aliens. I know it sounds completely bizarre. Next thing you know, you flash forward 24 years, and, uh, and we catch up with, you know, adult Star Lord, um, Jason or uh, Peter Quill, and he's by himself. But this really is the origin story of the Gal the Guardians of the Galaxy, because in this movie they all wind up working together and bonding. And I really liked it. It def this is a this is this kind of science fiction movie I've been waiting years for. It seems like whenever they do a science fiction movie or an alien movie, it's like it always takes place on on Earth, our Earth-like planet, you know, and our, most of the time, you know, the aliens come to Earth to, to kick our butts, you know, Skyline, Independence Day, War of the Worlds, uh, uh, Battle for Los Angeles, just, that, that seems like all they can come up with. This was a movie that took place in outer space, and I loved it. I've been waiting for someone to do like a Star Wars type of thing where, you know, you're just in space. You're going to these bizarre planets. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, Star Trek, but they're known for that. And I know Star Trek does that, but they're, they're known for that. I was just talking about like the, the, not lesser known, but the other science fiction movies that claim to be science fiction when it's just an alien invasion film again. This wasn't that. This this was space opera type of movie, you know. Um, 
when I say opera, I don't mean they're singing. I'm just saying it's very operatic, you know. Uh, it's very dramatic. And it's got a lot of funny parts in it. Chris Pratt, uh, from what I understand, he shaved 60 pounds off in like six months to, to get into shape. Dave Batista, who plays Drax, uh, he did a really decent job. I mean, the stuff I remember reading while, while this movie was being made is that when he found out that he got into a Marvel movie, he actually went out and signed up for more acting classes to make sure his acting is up to par. He didn't want to be the, the joke. And he really isn't a joke in this movie. He's basically just playing a brute. You know, so it's not, it's not the deepest acting job. Vin Diesel, Vin, Vin Diesel uh, plays Groot, a tree-like alien. And he was on Jimmy Kimmel a few weeks ago, and him and the cast, and they were talking about how Vin Diesel basically got paid, probably made most money being paid by the word, because he only repeats like three words of the whole film. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Bradley Cooper is Rocket. Rocket Raccoon. Dude, I wasn't sure how I was going to receive the fact that, you know, there's this little raccoon with an attitude. But he's a cool little character. I mean, he's not my favorite. I, I actually like Star Star Lord was one of the coolest characters in the whole film. And Zoe Saldana as uh, Gamora. I just said her name like a few minutes ago. Yeah, she really worked it. The You got everybody in here. You got the other. You got the Collector. You got Thanos. You got Ronan. Um, so... It's it's a good movie. I would I actually give this four chainsaws easy. I really enjoyed it. It's one of the better Marvel films. I really really enjoyed it. And like I said, unlike other movies from the Marvel universe, I didn't have any preconceptions of what it was like. So I just go by my gut and I give it four chainsaws. Well, that's my review on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm the Thirteenth Wolfman, and I'm on the prowl.